That was a big sigh. <laughs> Very big. Listen, uh, I said for the last two or three weeks, I've said to you know, it's good a performance and people should enjoy it because the performances have been exceptional. Uh, today was probably as bad as I can remember in six year here. Uh, when I first, even when I was here the last time, I, I felt it was a terrible performance. We were just no at it. We never started the game well. We were always halfway up the hill, as, as I described them there. We, we're, we're a team that need to start on the front foot. We need to start with intensity. I speak about that all the time. And today we never started at all. And we were chasing and we were trying to up that hill. And we just couldn't get there. At no point in the game. Every time we got a wee glimmer of hope in terms of bringing it back to within two goals, we then shot ourselves on the foot almost five minutes immediately after it. No good enough. And, and ultimately it could have been a lot more. I mean, I thought 6 2 flattered us, I'll be honest with you. I thought 6 2 flattered us. So some days you've got to be honest. And as a manager, I mean, I'm disappointed a wee bit myself because I felt. I possibly could have turned Paul Woods off earlier because Paul was struggling before the game uh, but he says he wanted to get it warm and the injury take warm and take a chance on it and I just, you know, I said to, to my coaching team should we take him off, should we take him off and we probably should have took him off earlier because we suddenly take him off for 2-0 down and it's, uh, so I take full responsibility for that I should probably get killed turning around the pitch quicker uh, but because Paul Woods has been playing as well as he has you, you hope that he's maybe going to get through it and it never happened I mean, recent performances have been good, Stevie, so that will hurt even more. Oh, it does, it does. I mean, that's a, that's a disappointing thing because I felt in the last three or four weeks we've had a, a level of consistency that we've been looking for uh, and then we're going through that performance in. But ultimately, it's, we're all responsible, the players, the management team, and uh, when you, you, you suffer a defeat like that and a heavy defeat like that, you've got to take full responsibility and you've got to come in on Tuesday and Thursday and work hard and, and look forward to next Saturday because we've had 90 minutes to do something about that game and we've chose to do nothing. What do you put it down to, as you say, having performed so well in the last three, four games to then never really get going? Is, it, is that it, that you, you don't start on the front foot and it's, it's really difficult to get into it? I think there's no many teams in this country, uh, probably outside the Premier League and probably outside the, the, the top three or four in the Premier League, that can start and then go through the gears and, and suddenly you know, come on in a game. We, we're not a team like that. We're a team that needs to start on the front foot. We're a team that needs to start with real intensity. Uh, and after two minutes we gave the ball away in the corner and, and our broth are straight at us and we never really recovered for that we were flat and, and our broth were miles in front of us and I thought first half we were lucky to go in 4-1 uh, down, I thought it could have been a lot more actually I thought they could have been 6-7 ahead and, and that's not exaggerating, I thought they were so far in front of us second half we come out, do you know, we start the second half no too bad and then we gave a, a goal away to make it 5-1 and then we scored a goal, and then you gave yourself a glimmer of hope with 25, 30 minutes to go, and almost within five minutes we gave another one away. And that was just the story of our day. That was the story of our day. We'll never act it if we start to finish. Ryan Wallace hit both posts with a shot just before they went up the park and scored. If that had gone in, would it have changed things, or is that wishful thinking? It's 2 1, it's the fine lines. It's the fine lines. It probably would have been sore on our growth because uh, I felt they thoroughly deserved a victory today and they were so far in front so probably it would have been sore on them and sore a reflection of the game but sometimes you need those things to happen for you when you're not having a, a good day at the office like we weren't today uh, but it wasn't to be and you know, deservedly so our both took the three points and, and you know, a, a performance that was very very good I've got to say I suppose as you say as well that um can't do anything about today now, it's just a case of looking to the future and something that you, you can control. No, you know me Cameron, you know, I spoke to you yesterday, I, I, wasn't, I, I don't get carried away with you know, the running results that we've had recently and I don't get too despondent, I've said that to players, you're never going to get that from <coughs> me, I, just, I look at this, this is, a, this is a marathon, this isn't a sprint, I think if you look at the league somebody said to me they were three points off second place, so that's this league, well, we'll, we'll, you know, because, because we've had that run of form, we're still right in the pack. And there's no there's no reason why this team can't go on another run uh, like we've had in recent in recent weeks. So you know I th I'll look at the I'll look at the table at the end of May and I've always said by the end of May I, th I still think we've got a squad good enough to be competing. What a great performance! Uh, Chris scored a lot more. Yeah. Um, fairness to Sangada, we never gave up, but we got the goals at the right time. Started the game really well. Um, scored some great goals. I have no complaints anybody that scores six goals away from home. I mean, you're looking at a team like Stanard who won comfortably away from home last week. <clears throat> I'm just absolutely delighted with that. That's two away games. That's 20 games now away from home. And it, and it, and it echoes well for, you know, I'm very happy that, um, you know, I'm still, I mean, I've still got Skelly and Plenty and, um, and uh, Doris. 
Doris, all unavailable. Swank's came back in the day. Gary Foot. Yeah, I'm very, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Didn't he? I think it was playing the right spirit. And I don't think anybody would deny us the right to win the game so comfortably. Some of the stuff we played was fantastic. And, uh, and that's a team that's played with a lot of confidence. But uh, we certainly will not get carried away with it. I mean, I'm absolutely delighted with the hat-trick for um, Ryan McClurg and a possible hat-trick for uh, Danny <laughs> Denner. Yeah. I didn't see anything wrong at all with the goal that was scored. I don't think so I would argue with it either. Uh, the, the linesman stopped and started to run towards the half line. And then all of a sudden he stopped and gave offside, yeah, which I thought was a strange one. But look, uh, six goals away from home. That's a, a, a tall order to maintain. And I'm extremely happy with the appetite of the players. 11 goals away from home in the last two games, as you said, 20 games in the league away from home one being. What's the secret, I suppose? Spirit and, and defending properly and uh, scoring goals up front. That's 10 goals we've scored in the last two games. Um, no, the, the secret is the spirit and defend properly. Any team that I've ever, ever been in charge of has always had a good defensive record. Um, and yeah, that's a good base to start from if you defend properly and start the game well. I mean, Ricky Little's not playing, you know. Uh, I've tried Jamie at right back, a young lad, and I've got Goldie at left back. Normally you would have Ricky Little and people like that. But they can't get into the team at the moment, and I hope they do get back in at all. But I'm absolutely delighted for everybody connected with Arbroath.